One to go. This one right here. Okay, team. Um, you can see here. Basically, I've ground off all the studs, all the rivets. They're very, very smooth now. I still gotta go over it with a 240 uh, grain sandpaper, but um, it's not proud any longer. It's nice and smooth, very, very smooth. But now I just gotta sand it back to the finish that I want, which is as smooth as I can get it. Um, and then I still have to put the lanyard, uh, the lanyard tube in there. I will do that tonight so that tomorrow I can sand it back and have it basically the same as same as the rivets. Um, I will have it in place and I will glue it I will glue it tonight and then tomorrow I'll have it in place so I can um, I can uh, grind it back and uh, flush with the scales. It's a little bit it's my first knife ever so I'm um, I'm expecting a few imperfections. This side here is not too bad. This this hole here is not too bad, but the other side I think I'd made a bit of a mess of it. But um and now this one is not focusing. Um so this side here is a bit of a mess. The other side is not too bad, but I'm hoping the epoxy will hide the imperfections. Um, so that's um, that's what it looks like now. So almost finished. I just gotta just gotta finish off this couple of little things, and uh, it'll be it'll be done. I'll show it to you in the uh, in the sheath. Now it can sit in the sheath. That's in the sheath there, really nice actually, it fits really really well. And that's not coming out of there. That's not falling out. I'm doing that as, as hard as I can. And it's not even budging. So the sheaths are made really really well. To fit perfectly. Um, and then it's on the dangler. So you can sit down and do whatever you need to do and the knife will always be in position. Or you can have it on your belt, which is that loop there. You can have it on your on your belt there like that. And that will always be stable in the same position. Whereas here, if you sit down, the knife will, will move around and will conform to the position you're sitting in, which is, I think, a little bit more comfortable. Cool. All right, guys. I'll show you. Um, I'll show you once I glue in the um, lanyard tube. Cheers. Cheers and happy camping. This is the Enzo Trapper 95, um, which is a full Scandi grind, and um, I'm quite happy with the knife. Actually, I can't wait to it for it to be finished, so I can do some bushcraft with it, and I'll do some videos of that as well. All right, guys. Cheers. Enzo Trapper 95 in 01 steel, full Scandi grind, nice bushcraft knife. Um, having a hard time with the focusing here. Um, my card are burgundy scales, uh, lanyard hold tube will be inserted tonight and glued in place and hopefully ground off tomorrow and the last bit of sanding will be accomplished tomorrow as well hopefully I'll have it all done by tomorrow Arvo. so um, yeah looking forward to putting this baby through its paces Enzo Trapper 95 kit Cheers guys. Okay guys, um, here's the lanyard tube I was telling you about. That's got to be glued in place in there. Basically, once it's glued in place, 
tomorrow it'll be ground off and then leveled uh, with the rivet and then epoxy all around it hopefully we'll hide the imperfections um, in the lanyard hole so um, we'll just see how we go with it okay just mixing the epoxy here um, araldite two-part epoxy and um, just gonna put some on the on the lanyard tube the tube has got plenty of um, plenty of areas where the um, epoxy will adhere to so here goes nothing I might put a little bit in here just to push it through I will always um, I will end up having to sand this back tomorrow anyway so if there's a little bit of excess it doesn't matter filming Pucci? Mm -hmm. thank you darling you're such a great helper thank you so much you're welcome okay so that's got in it's gone in successfully all these X's we can just take off video in Pucci? yep thank you okay so now that's in place um, I will just leave this resting I'll just leave it here okay guys um, continuing with the Enzo Trapper 95 um, I've got the knife in the vise protecting it with a bit of a towel here and I'm going to cut the the uh, lanyard tube I'm just gonna cut it with a hacksaw I'm just going to chop it off and then sand it back, alright? I'll show you once it's all done. Okay guys, um, both lanyard tubes have been cut. Um, you can see they're still a little bit proud. Just got to sand it back now. You can see they're sticking out on both sides. So I just got to sand it back, clean it up. And then uh, that'll be pretty much it for the knife. Okay, I'll show you in a second. Okay, guys, uh, I've gone over the uh, micarta with a 240 grit sandpaper, and uh, that's as fine as I think it'll go. It's fairly smooth, all the rivets are nice and flush. The spine is nice and flush. Um, the belly, the belly of the handle is nice and flush. So I, I don't think I need to do much more other than clean it up and lacquer it. I'm gonna put a protective lacquer over the top of it just to seal it and to make it look a bit shiny and bring the bring the grain out in the micarta. So it'll look uh, just for visual effect. Uh, my Carta basically is waterproof, indestructible. Um, it's just for looks. And then I'll um, make a lanyard for it and I'll show you the finished product next week sometime. Probably next weekend at this stage. It's Sunday night tonight. Um, it's getting pretty late so I've got a few other things I need to do. So this is as far as I'll get to it. Um, on with it this weekend. But it's 95% done. Um, I can't wait to to do a bit of bushcraft with this. This will be nice. And a nice blade. Good little project too. I've got to clean up the blade a little bit. Get some of that rust off it. Um, so I'll show you guys when I do that next weekend. Alright, cheers guys. See ya, bye.